can it not be a good day to have a great day? Hi, everybody. I'm Scotty Gange. It's Winner's Week, and it only makes sense that on the very last day of it, we've got the biggest showdown of the year. The race of the decade, Mountain Vista's Harrison Witt and Cherry Creek's Parker Wolf. Earlier this year, Wolf broke the all-time state record in the 1600. Then Witt broke it, and at the state championships, the two met up for the first and only time this year. Witt would run four laps in a scorching four minutes and four seconds. Yeah, he goes straight to his boys, his cheering squad. He's pumped up and understand how fast both these racers ran. Wolf's time was the second best in the state meet ever. Like, of all time, right behind Witt, who ran the fastest 1600 in Colorado Preps history. Greatest moment ever. I mean, that's the reason I, uh, I even race is those, those guys and uh, my family. So uh, it's super special to go give them big hugs. What an electric race. Hey, Niwot senior Taylor James is a star. Here she is winning the 400 meter dash. She also won the 200 about an hour later. Then she anchored the 400 meter relay for Niwot and she won that too. Four state titles for her this year and 10 in total for her career. But James, for her, her favorite part has nothing to do with medals. Being here with my team, like I can't say it enough, just like how much fun it is just to come out here and kind of celebrate all our hard work. Honestly, just being here present in the moment with my girls is the best thing I could possibly ask for. We love that. OK, so Riley Stewart is an absolute stud. She set a new meet record in the 1600. She ran those four laps in four minutes and 45 seconds. It was her fourth race of the weekend. She won them all and continues to amaze everybody. That is pretty cool. Hey, they call him Swift Man, Eagle Crest. Sterling Brassfield is the fastest sprinter in Colorado. His 100 meter dash of 10.63 seconds won the 5A state title. At the end, I leaned and then looked, and it said 10.63, and I was like, whoa. It's like an honor for me personally to come out here and finally put my name in the books. Hey, this is pretty cool. Karen Abbott, a FIFA referee, worked the 5A state championship girls soccer game. The best in the world, Broomfield versus Rock Canyon. Here's Broomfield's Bailey Giddings falling over. But yes, she got it. The Jaguars, they can play. You got to know that. Kate Sheehan, check out the header. Okay, Kate, do it to him. But here's the state championship winning goal on a penalty kick. It's Giddings again. She drains it as they win their first title since 2006. Well, obviously, there's a lot of nerves going around with that and super nervous, of course, but we've practiced those in practice over and over again, so I felt confident to take it. It's amazing. It's something that, a feeling that just nothing other can compare to. The best in the world. 4A baseball title game, Holy Family and Ponderosa. That's Isaac Sifkin with the shot. All the fans are saying, Holy Family. He gets the bomb and the stomp on home plate, too, but Pondo's offense went crazy. Colton Miller with the triple. He's pumped up. He should be. Okay, Colton, check that guy out. Yeah, baby. Hey, this one, though, we had Hearn launching a deep fly all the way to the wall. He gets the cool guy bat flip, too. The Ponderosa Mustangs, they scored 11 times as this one as Pondo. They win their first state title. And today, the Heritage Christian track team confirmed a very well-respected fashion tip in a whole new way. Denim goes with everything. I've seen jeans and pant form, jean jackets, t-shirts, even hats. But here's a very special Nine Preps exclusive, the first ever denim print track short shorts. Come on now, we're styling on a Sunday morning. Stuff like that is why high school sports are so, are so spectacular. Hey, we hope you loved Winner's Week as much as we did. I'm Scotty Gange. We will see you next week right here on the Nine News Prep Rally. One, two, three, four. You know what, we're going to say it again. It's absolutely been a good week to have a great week. Hi, everybody. I'm Scotty Gange. It's our final day of our Winner's Week state championship celebration. I've learned a lot this week. But the greatest lesson is to always shoot your shot. The 4A title game, Saka Saka, Holy Family, an undefeated Evergreen, and the Evergreen Cougars struck off an early Myla Stewart free kick. Holy Family, though, they come back with Gianna Sandoval finding the back of the net here. And here is the upcoming play of the day. Tie game, 12 seconds to go in the state championship. Holy Family, Hail Mary. Sandoval from 30 yards out. The rocket shot, got it! Come on now, they win their first girls soccer title in school history. I honestly thought I was going to shank it because it hit my shin guard, but I didn't. And it just, I don't know. What's that feeling like when you see it? My 
knees gave out. Like it just felt like like everything was like just out, you know. Is that the biggest goal you've ever scored? Oh, definitely, yeah. The Racing Ray, Denver East, Kyara Ray captured the 5A 400 meter championship. Her time of 53.27 seconds was the fifth best time ever. It means a lot. It's the hard work truly pays off. You know, when you're, when you're in the midst of adversity, it seems like it's never going to end. But you just have to have the courage, the faith, and the determination to keep on pushing through. It feels amazing. <laughs> Peak to Peak senior Aiden Graziano won the 3A boys 110 meter hurdles and delivered the energy too. Okay, Aiden, fire me up. I'm starting to think the Douglas County boys volleyball team doesn't really like to play because in their 18 games this season, they lost just three sets, which means all their games went by super fast. They unsurprisingly swept the state championship and are undoubtedly the greatest volleyball team in our state. When life gives you Lyman, Watch them win the two-way state title game. There's Kai Bandy with a deep fly to the outfield, and he's about to be off. The Little League home run. Go, buddy. Go, buddy, Kai. The Badgers, they'd score 11 times in this one as they win it all for their first baseball state championship since 2010. Hey, this is kind of fun. We introduced you to Rennick Turner in February after he was the first ever Faith Christian trap shooter to sign to compete in college, and he just won the state championship. Look at him. Let's go, Rennick. He heads to Nationals next month. Sutton Damiano of Kent Denver is this week's honor roll winner because she can do somersaults when she scores. Let's go, Sutton. The 4 a 100 meter dash, Mullins Kalia Ruff won it in 12 seconds for her first championship, just like dad. It's crazy because like, I hear stories about my dad winning state and then just here I am going to the same school that he went to and winning state again. It's like, well, I'm continuing the legacy and starting a path for my siblings, so it's great. Yeah, it is. Have a day, O'Day. Cherry Creek Jr. and CSU football commit Kai O'Day Jr. won the 5A 400 meter dash. He ran it in 48 seconds. I moved from a small town in Colorado. Um, I don't think I was necessarily supposed to be here in a lot of people's minds, but um, I've had a lot of support to get me here. And I'm proud for that, and it means a lot to me that I was able to prove them right. Prove them right, Kai. We love that. Hey, Winner's Week is my favorite week. We'll share more of the fun from around the state with you in an hour right here on 9 News. I'm Scotty Gange. We'll see you right here on the Prep Rally.